So this video we're looking at uh, radians and the unit circle. Important word here, uh, revision. So this is stuff that you already know, I would hope. Uh, I'm just going to sort of remind you of some of these key moments. Uh, so this video is going to be long and a little bit rambly, uh, but it's important that at the end of it, you remember pretty much everything that you did with radians and the unit circle when you were in grade 11. Uh, what's a radian, I hear you ask? Um, let's take a look. So we've got a circle that looks something like this. Uh, now you should be very familiar with this circle, this unit circle from last year. Now a radian is simply uh, a way to measure angles, just like degrees. Uh, remember, somebody at some stage came up with the idea that there were 360 degrees in a circle, just like somebody came up with uh, radians. Now, a radian... Now, whatever length this is, we'll just call it one unit, because this is the unit circle. If this length is equal to it, also one unit, then this length is equal to one unit radian, which we use the letter C for, confusingly. Okay, so if this length, this arc length, is equal to this length here, then this angle here will be one radian. Now, knowing what we know about uh, circles, there's going to be 3.14 or pi radians if we go from... Oops, get rid of that. Get rid of that. There's going to be pi radians if we go from here to here. It's a different colour so you can see that. Okay, so a little bit of knowledge. Pi radians equals 180 degrees. So it's not too much of a stretch to realise that in a full circle in 360 degrees, there are two pi radians equals 360 degrees. Now all of these values are ones that should just be immediately stuck in your head and you should be able to look at them straight away and know that pi on 6 radians is equal to 30 degrees, pi on 4 is equal to 45 degrees and so on and so on and so on. So a little thing here, if you want to do converting, if you want to convert from radians to degrees, so if you're going from rads to degs, radians to degrees, um, multiply by 180 on pi. So quick example, if someone tells you there's two radians and you want to convert that to degrees, that's equal to 2 times 180 on pi and that's going to be 114.59 degrees. So if you want to convert radians to degrees, multiply it by 180 on pi. Now if you want to go the other way here and you want to convert degrees to radians, you're just multiplying it by pi on 180. So a uh, different example here, we've got 150 degrees. That's going to be equal to 150 times uh, pi on 180 which is going to be equal to, once you multiply that and cancel everything down, you'll end up with 5 pi on 6. 150 degrees is 5 pi on 6. There's your conversions. You can see that they're very, very similar, easy to get confused. If you're converting degrees to radians, you'll have a pi in it somewhere. If you're converting radians to degrees, uh, radians are usually uh, talked about with some sort of pi in it, so the pi will cancel out. Okay, so there's our quick radians to degrees, blah, blah, blah. We probably need to look at the unit circle now. Uh, let's take a look. Here's our uh, unit circle. Now, I'm just going to draw the, the triangle in here. This is something you should be fairly familiar with. Here's our triangle. Do, 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 do. Just put a dotted line down here. Now, what it creates is this nice little right angle here. Here's our angle, theta, which we should be very familiar with from last year. Now, remember it's called the unit circle. It's called the unit circle because its radius is equal to one unit. So that's equal to one. So when we start looking at this, uh, remember that this is a Cartesian plane with an x-axis and a y-axis. x, uh, y. And this point on our uh, Cartesian plane 
uh, we can define that point, which we'll do in just a moment. Uh, first, let's start thinking about this as a proper right angle triangle. We can see it here. Now, I'm going to look first at sine theta. So sine theta is equal to uh, opposite over hypotenuse. And you can see that sine theta is equal to opposite. That's this length. That's our opposite length over the hypotenuse, which in the unit circle is equal to 1. This means that sine theta is equal to opposite over 1 is equal to opposite. Actually, I should just write a PP in there. That means that sine theta is equal to opposite. So this length is equal to sine theta. Now you can do the same thing with our other one here. Cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. This is the adjacent right here. Down here. And the hypotenuse is there. That means that cos theta is equal to adjacent over 1. And adjacent over 1 is just the adjacent. That means that this length here is equal to cos theta. Now we can say that this point is therefore equal to an x value of cos theta and a y value of sine theta. Now if you missed that last year, here's a nice, I hope, a nice little quick explanation of why when we start finding sine theta and cos theta and exact values, etc, etc, why, why it is so, why it works the way it does. Uh, while we're here, we may as well finish this off with the ever-elusive, people have a little bit of trouble with this one, it's tan theta. Now remember that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now with this angle, we've already learnt that the opposite is equal to sine theta. And the adjacent is equal to cos theta. So now we can look at this and realize that in our unit circle, if there's an angle of theta, um, the x value of this point is going to be cos theta, the y value of that point is going to be sine theta, and tan theta is going to be equal to uh, the y value divided by the x value. Now another way to summarize all that, just to really, really hammer it home, uh, that means that cos theta is equal to x sine theta is equal to y and tan theta is equal to y on x or 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 tan theta is equal to uh, sine theta on cos theta all right continuing so continuing on with our unit circle I, i'm going to for some of you, I'll be introducing terminology. For some of you, this is something you've heard before. Uh, I'm going to talk now about the boundary, the boundary angles. Now, the boundary angles are um, zero degrees or uh, zero radians, if you like. Uh, 90 degrees, or that's pi on two. Uh, radians, uh, 180 degrees, or pi radians, however you want to say it, um, or 270 degrees, or um, how else can we say that? 3 pi on 2 radians. Uh, both of those, I should put little ors in there, degrees or radians. Uh, should have, I've probably also missed something here, 0 degrees, 0 radians, or 360 degrees, or um, 2pi radians. These are our boundary angles, and that's what we mean by it. Now, referring back to previously here, remember that cos theta equals our x value, and sine theta equals our y value. Very important information. Cos theta, x, sine theta, y. Now, I'm just going to write that again here. Sine theta equals our x value, and cos theta equals our y value. Well, that's mind-boggling. How did I get that wrong so quickly? Okay, so that's the x. And where's my eraser here? Whoops, 
No, don't use that one. Why can't I find it? There it is. Okay, very important that we get this right. Let's double check it. Sine theta equals our y value, cos theta equals our x value. That is very true. Sine theta equals our y value, and cos theta equals our x value. Now, remember that this unit circle exists on a Cartesian plane, which means that each of these points has coordinates. This is coordinate z um, on a roll here. This is coordinate 1, 0. It has an x value of 1 and a y value of 0. This is coordinate 0, 1. That means that it has an x value of 0 and a y value of 1. This is coordinate negative 1, 0. And this is coordinate negative 1, negative 1. So using this information, we can now uh, come up with some values for our boundary angles. So this means that sine 0 is equal to whatever the y value... Sorry, oops, not sine theta. This means that sine 0 is equal to whatever our y value is when the angle is equal to 0. And you can see that our y value is equal to 0. So sine 0 is equal to 0. Uh, you guys will also know that because you've seen sine functions before... And when the angle is equal to zero, the y value is also equal to zero. Whereas, compare and contrast, cos zero, y theta. Cos zero is equal to whatever our x value is when uh, the angle is equal to zero, and that's one. Continuing sine, now I'm going to use uh, radians here because we really got to get used to it. Sine pi on 2, that's one of our boundary degrees, that's 90. Now we can see that our y value at this point is equal to 1. And we can see that our cos value is equal to 0. Now we're up to sine pi over here. Look at our y value, this time it's 0 again, cos pi. Look at our x value, that's at negative 1. And down here, sine 3 pi on 2, that's going to be equal to negative 1. Sine theta equals y, so our y value is negative 1. And cos 3 pi on 2. That's going to be equal to negative 1. Uh, now that's all well and good for sine and cos, but what about tan, I hear you ask? Let's make a little bit of space here and talk about tan, just for a moment. We need a value for the boundaries for tan, tan 0, tan pi on 2, tan pi and 10, 3 pi on 2. Now you recall from this side that 10 is equal to y on x or 10 is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So let's take a look. Sine theta over cos theta. So tan 0 is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So that's uh, 0 divided by 1. Now, 0 divided by 1 is simply 0. Now, our next one, tan pi on 2. Now, let's look at each one. Sine theta is 1. Sorry, sine pi on 2 is 1. Cos pi on 2 is 0. So, that means that this is going to be 1 divided by 0. Now, 1 divided by 0, you can't do it. You can't divide by 0. So, this is going to be undefined. Continuing on. Tan pi is going to be equal to sine theta, which is 0, divided by negative 1. Now, 0 divided by negative 1, that's going to be equal to 0. And finally, tan 3 pi on 2 is going to be equal to this, negative 1, divided by this, negative 1. Now, negative 1 divided by negative 1, that's going... Well, I just got to here and realised something's going horribly wrong. 
Uh, let's take a quick look at where I've made my mistake. Uh, it's here, and it's here. Please tell me that you spotted this while I was doing this. Um, let's just fix that up, shall we? This point, obviously, is not negative 1, negative 1. I don't know how I ended up with that. Uh, it's got an x-axis of 0. Let's fix that. Which, of course, means that we need to fix our other little piece here. Cos theta is equal to x, which means that that is equal to 0. Now, this is what happens when you try to rush through. Now, the reason I've picked that up is because, obviously, when I got to here, I looked at this number and I looked at this number, and when they divided by something, they didn't divide into the thing that I wanted them to divide into. That's why. So, finally, 10, 3 pi on 2 is equal to negative 1 divided by 0, which will be undefined. Okay, this has truly been a random ramble with a few mistakes along the way. Uh, but remember, this is all revision from last year. Just jumping right back to the start. Uh, so, revision... We learnt how we talked about what a radian was, and then we made sure that we can convert radians to degrees, and then degrees to radians. Make sure that you can do that. Then we talked about what the unit circle was, and we figured out that um, cos theta was equal to our x value of this point, and sine theta was equal to our y value of that point, and finally tan theta was equal to um, y divided by x or sine theta over cos theta, and then. We talked about something, I think this will be revision for you guys, but if it isn't, now you know it, uh, the boundary angles. So we looked at each of our angles in turn, 0, 90 degrees, or actually, let's do radians, 0 radians, pi on 2, pi and 3 pi on 2, and we learnt our boundary angles. So that's 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 0, undefined, 0, undefined. We could have gone one step further for each of these and done um, 10 2 pi, sine 2 pi, and cos 2 pi. But we should also understand that that's just going to bring us back to this, the front again because 0 degrees is equal to 2 pi, sorry, 0 radians is equal to 2 pi radians. So that's going to be equal to whatever that was, and it's going to be equal to whatever that was, and it's going to be equal to whatever that was. 18 minutes and I think we've covered approximately half of the things that you covered in year 11. Hopefully when I do a second video, you will cover the other stuff that you did in year 11.